So just another quick video about a new feature that's been added to Virtual DJ 2023 uh, in the latest version, and it's built 7445 at the time of this recording, and a new feature is called Smart Fader. So what is Smart Fader? Well, it's actually not in the skin, you can't see it anywhere, but it's just really a script that you can add and use, and I've tried uh, adding it to this uh, custom user button over here. So if I look into the editor, you can see it says Smart Fader. Uh, that's not a lot of info, but as you can see, there's also a little description. And the description is saying, when Smart Fader is activated, songs are synchronized while using the Cross Fader. And the tempo moves toward the tempo of the song that's being faded into. Okay, so that kind of tells us a little bit about it's actually something to do with the Cross Fader here, right? So it's going to be like a help feature on top of the Cross Fader. But it doesn't say that it actually also synchronizes the tracks. Um, and it locks them, so like with beat lock, um, so these grids have to be correct for it to work properly. And it actually also changes the EQ of the low end uh, while doing the mix, so it also hands lab, hands lab, handles that. So it's a, a lot on top of each other, really. Uh, so why have we gotten this smart fader right now? Well, that's actually probably because the new Pioneer FLX4 needs it because that's also supported in the latest version of Virtual GT in 2023, built 74.45. So let's look into the mapping for that one. So I'm in here in the mapping section, and I'm just gonna go in here and look for the FLX4. So here it is, and if you go down the button, you can see that it says Smart Fader, and that's mapped to Smart Fader here. So that's probably why they added this feature now. However, this also has uh, something about mix effects. And mix effects are these effects that happens on top when you use the crossfader that you can enable. Um, so it says that it's actually uh, setting that to echo out and it's activating it. And echo out mix effects is actually also new. It used to have echo, but now it also has echo out and of course all the other old ones. So we should probably also look into that a little bit. So let's do that. Um, so. I've taken the script and I've divided it into two. So they have Smart Fader, like we saw it before. And then I've put the rest of it in here. Effect based effect sele select, echo out, and activate it. And I'll put in a second little ampersand. So when I click the button, it actually turns it on when it's on, because they're both being validated, right? Because of the two of these. So that's all I've done. Added this little extra thing and then split it into two so we can test them independently. Like in all fair, uh, but in all fairness, um, this mix effects is not nearly as hidden because if you go into a skin mode that actually has mix effects, like essentials, you can see that it's actually also down here. So you can use it directly. So it doesn't just have the echo anymore. It also has the echo out. So that's actually visible in some cases. But let's go back to the, to the pro layout here and see what Smart Fader does. Well, what it does when I click it is it actually let it, uh, like I said, it uh, it uh, synchronizes them, it actually locks them together, but let's just do it without the music playing first. And then it changes the EQs, uh, so it turns down the bass, basically, for the incoming track. So let me just try clicking it. So you can see this changed for 100, from 126 to 125, and this was turned all the way down. You couldn't see that it synchronized it because it's not playing, so it doesn't synchronize it then, but we can see that in a second. So let's just try to go back here. Uh, to go back here, uh, and for that we need to, to turn it off again. Um, and we'll just bring this back to 126. So now if we actually play a track here, and we play a track here, and we enable it, you can, and we do the cross fade, you can, then you can see both the EQ is working, the, uh, the synchronizing working, uh, both regarding the pitch and the grid, and you can see it happening when I move the crossfader, and it'll work in both directions. So something like this. You lay there on the kitchen floor. And now it's not synced, but it will be. So now it's synced, and it bases low, and I start moving the fader. So it basically does this perfect mix, right? Including the EQ, now that was 126. I can then go back. And 
and now we're back to 125 and it has put the, the EQ back and like you probably saw before even if uh, if I uh, if I started this a bit out of sync let try doing it again it'll adjust it it'll lock it together so like this it'll just lock it together even though I clicked it at the wrong time and you'll get a decent mix including the going up and down here in the pitch so that's actually the smart fader but let's listen to this new echo out effect also so I'll just disable the smart fader so now if I use the echo out here and I I, and I try to mix it into silence because then it's easier to hear. Then you get something like this. You lay there on the kitchen floor. I'm sorry. So that's basically what it does, but of course it sounds nicer if that's two tracks, so let's try doing that. So that's really the purpose of it. They're not supposed to mix into nothing. So let's listen to that too. You lay there on the kitchen floor. It seems like you can't take no more I'm back I just can't get enough you So you get this echo effect in both directions when doing the mix and like you saw, I did that pretty fast. And that was on purpose because I find that these mix effects works best when doing it fast. Let me try doing it slow. Then they kind of get lost in your audio. So let's just test that. So it do the same thing, but I'm going to move the cross fader slower. You lay there on the kitchen floor. It seems like you can't take no more. I'm sorry, but... So it probably did add the echo, or it did add the echo, but we couldn't really hear it. So that it's not a great thing if you're if you're crossfitting slowly. Then they don't really matter. But of course, um, the FLX4 did both. So let's just try doing that. And after that, we can look into a few cave cats in this because it's it can get a little weird. But let's just uh, test it. So go back to the first one. Need both of them, and so that's went back to low and. Uh, they are uh, the both here. And now you'll actually see the first cave cat. Because when I mix now. You lay there on the kitchen floor. It seems like you can't take no more. I just can't get enough. We got the same as before, which means they were synchronized, and we got the low thing going on but it never went to 126. And why is that? Well, that's because it was already at 125 because of my, the sync I did before when I was showing the echo out part. It was already at 125 when I clicked the, the, the smart fader. So um, so it it, uh, it it takes that as like the, the ground zero value now. So it won't move it to 126 when it was activated when it was 125. So that's something to notice. But it gets even worse because now if I go back and disable this stuff, go back to uh, so now it's it's clean. I'll just move this over here. So we have 125, 126. This is of course still okay. These EQs are still okay. They'll always be okay. The, the low EQ part will always work. But now um, if I enable it now, then you can actually see it working again. So let me try that. It seems like you can't Move to 125. I'm sorry, but when my hands start, Move up to 126. Moves back to 125. So you actually need to enable and disable, or disable and enable this every time you load a new track if you want this reset of pitch to happen as part of Smart Fader. So that's important to notice. That also means that right now it's kind of locked into moving it one BPM, right? Because the one above 125 and 126, and it's still on. 
I can of course also add the mix effects echo out if I want to, like you saw before. Now I'm gonna load a new track. So now I'm gonna load a, uh, just, just to keep this track over here, and 126, so now it's over here. And I'm gonna uh, new, uh, this third track into the first deck. And because mixes if uh, uh, Smart Fader is on, it'll instantly change it and do the low part and all this stuff that we expect. But look what happens now when I try using it. Did you notice that everything worked? It got synchronized, everything was nice, and it also had the, the good grit, so it worked nicely. But the uh, the pitch changing back and forth only goes now, I went between 126 and 125, even though that's clearly not back to zero here. And that's because it's remembering this one pitch difference that was between the two last tracks, even though I've loaded a new track. So again, if you want this to work, we need to reset, uh, we need to disable this, we need to reset this. So what we would probably do before, load the track, or you just load the track again, and then you can enable it again. And then when you use this, just do it in silence, it'll go all the way back to zero change here in the pitch. So all the way to 118. So we can go this bit if we want to. So that's an important lesson. We need to uh, disable and enable it and reload a new track. And this is actually with the with the pretty big BPM difference. It's actually when this shines, right? Because that's when you really notice this stuff happening, uh, and you don't need to do anything. It just uh, it just does the 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 the, uh, the fade or the uh, the uh, the reset back to zero uh, difference uh, automatically. So that's really cool. But just remember, you need to do this. Let me just. Play this example again, and then put the this on top, so we get the full FLX4 thing, and we can do it slow, and we can do it fast, and we can just listen to it and enjoy it. So, like this. And I'll just do it faster so we can get the effect uh, where we can actually hear the echo. Of course, the problem with doing that fast is that when the BPM difference is this big, the echo will sound a little bit uh, out of sync, right? Because it echoes at the 126 BPM in this case, but it echoes on top of something that's now turned into 118 BPM because it just uh, it just uh, it, it grabbed the, the the stuff that it's echoing right in the beginning. So that's just something to notice. But apart from that, it's pretty cool. And of course, you can combine this script if you want to. So you can be there, put an Amazon between them and put these two in the same one, so you get the same as the FLX4 that does both at the same time, if you want. And of course, I'll also put these two in the video description if you want to play with them. But like you saw, you can just go grab them in the FLX4 uh, mapping in the new version. So that's basically a little bit about Smart Fader, with a little added fee uh, feature of the new Echo Out mix effects.